We are the Veluminati. We are keepers of the cog. Hmm. Rule number 11. Family does not come first. The bike does. That doesn't sound right. Rule number 56. Espresso or macchiato only. Well, that's just ridiculous. Hello, welcome to my latest video, in which I argue that only four of the Voluminati's so-called rules are actually worth following. Firstly, what is the Voluminati? Founded in 2009, the Voluminati was set up by Frank Stack and Brett Kennedy, and within this, they created the rules. The rules claim to codify cycling etiquette, and when they were written, I'm sure most of them were tongue-in-cheek. The problem is, enough people now seem to take these rules seriously and claim you're not a proper cyclist unless you follow them. Look at the comments below any popular Twitter or Instagram post and you'll see idiots quoting one rule or another. I hate them. They are gatekeeping of the worst kind, are full of toxic masculinity and serve only to put people off of riding bikes. I genuinely hope you've never heard of these rules because there are literally only four worth listening to. You have to trawl through 37 of these rules before you get to one worth paying attention to, including such nonsense as rule number eight, saddles, handlebars, and tires shall be carefully matched. Rule 29, no European posterior man satchels. That means saddlebags. And rule number 30, no frame mounted pumps. The first rule that's actually worth listening to is rule 38, don't play leapfrog. If you get passed by someone, just let them go. It's nothing personal and there's no point giving it maximum effort to get back ahead, only to be overtaken again within 200 yards. Plus you just look really petty as you huff and puff past someone at a pace you can't maintain. Rule 59, hold your line. Ride predictably and don't make any sudden movements. If you need to swerve to avoid a pothole or obstacle in the road, make sure you shout and point out the obstacle if you can. Actually, there's nothing in the rules about pointing out obstacles. Surely that's an obvious one to add. It's certainly better than rule 90. Never get out of the big ring. Rule 64. This one's not even a rule, it's a statement. It's just a thing that happens. Cornering confidence increases with time and experience. Obviously. So does descending, braking, and riding in traffic. Why are you calling cornering out specifically? Finally, the last of the four rules, and the one most worth following, is rule 77. Respect the earth, don't litter. I can't even believe this needs to be said. Don't litter. Put your empty packets back in your pocket and either take them home or drop them into a bin when you pass one. This rule applies off the bike too. Just don't litter. Ever. Why would you do this? The most important thing, whether you're a new cyclist or an experienced one, is to have fun and stay safe. Screw anyone who tells you what you can and can't wear. Or who makes a snide comment about the length of your gear cables. You cycle your way. The more people on bikes, the better, in my opinion. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. Also drop a comment below if you agree or disagree with any of my selections. Bye.